are about 37 trillion cells in our body, and they work hard to keep you alive. As the master, what reason do you have for not loving yourself? Otherwise, you will lose a lot of wives and husbands. Not long after the beginning of this episode, a vicious-looking cell appeared, hurting anybody he saw. Fortunately, Mr. White Blood Cell was there, and ended him with one move. The irritable thug T-Cell felt a little unhappy after seeing it. It is his task to clean up the mutant cells. You just need to eliminate the bacteria. Don't take my job. Before the words were finished, another grumpy lady smashed the thug T-Cell. She is an NK cell, which specializes in destroying cancer cells and cells infected by viruses. She could see at a glance that this cell was not a human being, but a mutated cancer cell. Based on experience, she judged that this guy must have a comrade. But the thug T cell were not happy anymore, and fought NK cells for 300 rounds, because they all thought they could handle it. Under the leadership of the cell, few most powerful immune cells came to the tissues where cancer cells had been infested, but before the enemy could be found, there was a dispute between thug T cells and NK cell, and they parted ways. According to the explanation, it is because the two cells will have a rejection reaction when they are together, but I think they are clearly a pair of couple. After the thug T cell and white blood cell left, the NK cell turned pale, took out the saber and pointed at the cell leading the way. It turns out that this cell is a cancer cell, and his purpose is to trick other cells. The cancer cell disguised himself and revealed his true color. Oh! Cancer cell, why are you so handsome? The cancer cell is super powerful, and his strength crushes Miss NK easily. The thug T cells were also horrified to find that the entire tissue had become cancerous. During the battle, the cancer cell said that what he hated most was immune cells. It turned out that he had a tragic life experience. During a cell replication, he was mutated at birth for unknown reasons. At that time, he was still very weak, but the immune cells used violent law enforcement were obviously not his own fault, so why should he be treated like this? He hated the injustice of this world and vowed to completely destroy the whole world. Under his leadership, all cancer cells will be transferred. If they are allowed to succeed, the body owner will be not far from death. However, under the order of the headquarters, all cells joined the battle. Under the combined attack of various cells, cancer cells are completely eliminated before metastasis. Alright, that's all for this episode, see you next episode. Thanks everybody for watching my video. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. See you on next video.